Every week, our Strictly stars hit the dance floor looking flawless, absolutely flawless. However, this week, some of them will look like they've woken from the dead. But fear not, it's all in the name of Halloween. Making our couples look ghastly this week are Lisa Armstrong and Lisa Davies. Yeah. Yeah. We love you lot, and the work you're doing is absolutely incredible. Lisa, you're in charge of makeup. Now, how do you make all our beautiful contestants look truly awful for Halloween? Well, it's really tricky because we do still want them to obviously look beautiful because we are strictly and we want them to look beautiful and glamorous, but we just use a lot of like shading and white makeup and more sort of ghoulish colours really to make them look gorgeous but still sort of deathly and a bit like ghoulish it's so exciting Lo lots of glitter and well. lots, lots of and glitter. lots of them gone yeah. crazy with the glitter this year. <laughs> and then lisa how how difficult is it for you uh, to do their hair and get it to sort of stay in place when they're spinning upside down they're doing those staccato head moves well basically yeah hundreds of hairpins yeah glue Staple gun, anything we can use. We <laughs> often we stitch, stitch the hair in just to sort of keep it in place. Wow, so it's yeah. not going to move anyway. Yeah. We're going to look at anywhere. Anita's. Oh no, it's here. Here's yes. Anita. Uh, now she's being maleficent. I'm glad you said that. I know. A it's magnificent quite maleficent. <laughs> it's so difficult to say. But talk us through how our makeup's going to be, Lisa. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use bright, bold, clashing colours just to create that character. Um, you can see on the sketch here we've got the bright purple. We're going to clash it against the green for that witchy kind of sort of look, and the big black thick eyeliner we're going to use with glitter as well and she's got the perfect perfect eye shape for that she just looks stunning with that eyeliner i loved her tango eyes last oh, week yeah, she can great. take a lot of she makeup can, yeah and eyes, it's, it's, it'd be a great look for her and then like the dark lip and lots of shading to get those maleficent cheekbones so exciting yeah. and then of course maleficent has horns yes. lisa talk us through how you create this look on top so of the head rather than the generic head dress that yeah. we, we could just go and buy we wanted to be a bit more creative so we've made um horns out of these wire cages, yeah. cover them in crepe hair and then eventually they'll be covered in this hair. And that, that goes yeah. all the way around. Let's all the way around. Feel. They're really light. Yeah, they're really light. So, and and how we'll fix them on to How do you attach them to yeah. a head? We'll put little buns on the head and probably and stitch them in. <gasps> yeah. And then you stitch them in. Yeah. So it's yeah. fine until she wants to go home later on that she won't yeah, be able to exactly. get off. Um, now, we have this that looks very much like Frankenstein's monster. Who will be looking like this? On that is going to be Pasha and this is going to be Carol, the Pasha bride. She loves a bit of green, doesn't he? With Shrek. Do you remember it was yes. Shrek on Movie Week a couple of years ago? So talk us through this look. Okay, so again, obviously, as you can see, on the image, uh, the green face. Again, we need to use lots of shading, so lots of greys and lots of black colours. Round the eyes, really dark. We give him a nice, lovely mono brow just to get that heavy line across his forehead. A dark, <laughs> dark, we happy about that? <laughs> a dark lip, and then we are actually going to use the bolts. In the his bolts neck. are going in the neck. He's, oh, he's happy the about bolts that. Are going in the neck. And, and what then about we've Carol? got um, a lovely Carol is going to be very pale, obviously as the bride of Frankenstein. So we're going to have pale, pale skin and put some glitter iridescence um, on the on the face. Uh, a big glittery um, eyeline and the brows really structured harsh glittery brows a nice lip and we're going to do some bit of patchwork down here as if she's sort of been sewn up okay and what about the hair no then worries. lisa pasha will just be his own hair but we'll square it up so he looks you know Pasha's possibly green yeah square have a big square head, head. <laughs> um and brilliant. carol is a work in process yes we've literally got a wig for her which is going to be like the big the bride kind of, of frankenstein yeah, with, yeah, the yeah, yeah. with the streak yeah. yeah brilliant now if we move over here you will be able to see ladies and gentlemen at home that we have a model now underneath this makeup you may or may not believe it who is it it's natalie Lowe. Oh, yes. hello nat you look incredible how are you feeling in there uh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it, she looks great. Thank so, you. Lisa, Lisa yes. what, talk me through the look that you're creating here and what, so, which Nat dance is this for? Natalie's look is for the group number and she is like the Coraline Corpse Bride look. So basically we've done all the dark eye makeup right up to the eyebrow just to take that sort of hollow sort of look and then created her own sort of uh, glittery eyebrow on top, paled down the skin, gave some structure here with the shading like I talked about before and then literally just got the pot of glitter and just blew it into her face. Into her face. <laughs> Yeah. You're like that. That's fantastic. Do try this. Like, do cool close it. your eyes before you blow <laughs> it into her face. And yeah. what about her hair, Lisa? So basically, her hair is a wig. So yeah. we've sort of wig capped all her hair underneath, yeah. made sure it's like really secure because obviously Natalie throws her head everywhere. She does. I've seen um, those yeah. low turns. Yeah. They use all their pins on me, I think. Every pin. <laughs> and then basically just finished it off with the accessories just to. Incredible. Does it yeah. feel comfy under there, Nat? Um, yes. <laughs> Isn't she a good girl? Yeah. Um, your partner 
in crime, Vicky Gill will be revealing some of the horrifying costumes live from L Street tomorrow. If you want to know Vicky's, we'll see her tomorrow. Good luck for Saturday. Thank Lisa you. and Lisa D, you're doing such amazing work. Thank people you so much. All the makeup people and hair people. Hello. Hello. And Natalie Lowe. Gorgeous legs there. Uh, next up tonight, even though.